Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chichen, but you can also call me Luna. So last week I've been pretty busy and I wasn't able to post up any content. However, for this week's video, it's gonna be pretty serious and informative, I hope, where I'll be talking about the top 10 medical schools in Malaysia. So this video is mainly for those of you who had just finished your pre-universities like A-levels or OSMED or CMP or whatever course that you're taking who are currently surveying around to look for which medical school they want to further pursue their MBBS or MD degree. So if you are already in medical school and is here just for a chill session, you might want to skip this video and watch my other videos. But if you want to carry on, who am I to tell you what to do? Some context before we continue on with the rest of the video is that there will be no specific sequence as to which medical school I'll talk about first, meaning there is no rank 1 to rank 10 because I can't find a reliable source of website where they give the most accurate ranking system for the medical schools. They are all just jumbled up and I don't know which website is the most reliable one. Also, I'm sure that there will be some information which are not exactly accurate with the current situation depending on how often the university update their website. So if you want the most accurate information, it's still best to you know visit the university itself. So the information I'll be giving out in the rest of the video are all purely based on the university's website itself. So if there is anything that they don't state in their website, I wouldn't be talking about it as well. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention about how I'm going to talk about the universities. So how I'm going to cover is that I'll talk about their background, their minimum requirements, their fees, and if they offer any scholarships from their universities. When discussing about minimum requirements, I will be using the pathways I've went through, which is SPM for high school, A-levels for pre-U, and IELTS for English requirements. So if you want to know more about specific minimum requirements for your course other than those that I mentioned just now, you can check out the links below that I've attached. So with all that aside, let's start. So the first university I'll be talking about is UM, also known as University Malaya. If you are Malaysian, you will know how competitive and difficult it is to get into this uni because it is easily one of Malaysia's top-ranked university. Never mind getting a place in the medicine faculty, even getting a place in the university itself is already difficult. So if you are confident and you think you can do it, just go for it. There is literally nothing to lose. So for UM, the duration of study for their medicine is between 5 to 7 years, where 5 is the minimum number of years and 7 is the maximum. Also, they are one of the few medical universities in Malaysia which requires a BMAT. Hence, the duration of admission for this uni takes a really long time as compared to other universities. For UM, their minimum requirements for A-levels are at least 3A and above where you should include the core science subject like Bio, Chem, Maths and Physics. They also have an English requirement of Band 6 overall for IELTS as well as a minimum grade of a mine in SPM, Bio, Chem, Physics, Maths, and English. As for the fees for Malaysians, it costs about 14,200 ringgit Malaysia. And I'm not sure if it's for per year or for the entire course because they don't state it in their website. And for international students, it costs about 160,285 USD for the whole course. Lastly, before admission to UM, they will be conducting a so-called MMI, which is multiple mini interview before they confirm your place in UM. So I will be attaching an admission flowchart right here. Moving on would be AIMS, which they call it the Asian Institute of Medical Science and Technology. That's a really lengthy name. So basically for AIMS, they are recognized by the Medical Council of India and they have partnership with Queen Mary University of London. I'm not really sure how that is supposed to work, but I guess it's good to know. So for AIMS, their minimum requirements for A-levels are BBC, ABC or AAC where grade C can only either be physics or maths. They will also check your high school SPM results with a minimum grade of 5 Bs in the core science subject 
which I will not be repeating, and an English requirement of IELTS Band 6 overall. For those who wish to go for AIMS, you will also need to go through an aptitude test or interview by the university itself. For the fees, tuition fees cost about 50k ringgit Malaysia for the first year and another 11 to 12k under other expenses. Unfortunately, they didn't give me an exact amount as to how much it costs for an entire course, whether for Malaysians or international students, so I am unable to talk more about it. One good news is that in their website, they mentioned they offer 100% scholarships as well, where they call it the Top Achiever Scholarship. Next is IMU, also known as International Medical University. Ah the university where I'm currently studying at. So some background for IMU, which I also believe is one of their main selling points, is that they have partnership with medical universities from all over the world, like University of Edinburgh, Queen Mary University of London, ANU, Manchester, and many more, where they offer the PMS program, which also known as Partner Medical School, so students are able to have the choice on whether if they want to pursue their last 2.5 years, whether it be Malaysia or overseas. Please bear in mind, this is not a twinning program, so that once you finish medical school and the medical degree that you will receive is from the university itself. So for example, if you graduated from University of Edinburgh, your medical degree would also be from University of Edinburgh and not IMU. So for IMU, there is no need for BMAT. However, for their minimum requirements, it's BBB or ABC for A-levels and an overall of band 6.5 for IELTS. For the duration of study, it's 5 years for the local track and 4.5 to 6 years for PMS track depending on which university that you choose to go to for the remaining clinical years. Fees also differs based on which options you choose, whether it be local track or PMS. And as for PMS, it depends on which school you choose to go to. So for the local track, Malaysians will cost around 494k and 900 ringgit Malaysia for the whole course and for international students it will cost around 543k 500 ringgit Malaysia for the whole course as for IMU 100% scholarships are also available and one thing I forgot to mention just now is that IMU's intake are February and September intake Sunway Monash For medicine degree offered in Sunway Monash are purely local. However, it is stated in their website saying their biomedical science slash MD program will allow you to practice medicine not only in Malaysia but also in Australia or New Zealand. It is also stated that you will have an opportunity to go for a placement in an Australian hospital during your year 5. For Sunway Monash, their intakes are usually in February and their duration of study are usually 5 years. For their minimum requirements for A-level are AAB and an overall band score of 6.5 for IELTS. As for the fees, Malaysians cost around 102k ringgit Malaysia per year and 118k ringgit Malaysia per year for international students. Next is UKM, also known as University Kebangsaan Malaysia. This university is also one of Malaysia's top government universities as they have their own teaching hospitals, also known as UKM Medical Center. For the duration of their medical degree is also 5 years and their intakes are usually in September. Minimum requirements are AAB or ABB in A-levels and at least a B in the core science subjects in SPM. For their English requirements, it's a band 6 overall for IELTS and they would also require you to pass an interview. For their fees, it's 13.6k for Malaysians via UPU and 300k ringgit Malaysia for full fee paying Malaysians. And for international students, it will cost 100k USD for the whole course. I just realized how long I took for the first five universities I mentioned. That's why for the remaining of the universities, I will leave it in the part two video. So if you are interested to know more, please do check out the part two video, which I will be posting up next week. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.